Now, our next topic is the binomial theorem for any non-positive integer. So if I've been given a binomial theorem to expand, yes, I've been given square root of, let's say, 1 plus um, 2x, okay? And I've been asked to expand this. So this will give me 1 plus 2x or raised to the power what? half because it's square root, okay? So for me to expand this, I use this theorem, okay, which I'm going to give to you here. So if I have 1 plus x raised to the power n, we are saying that this is equal to, the first term is always 1 plus, then the second term is nx, okay, plus, then we go for the next term, which is n, then n minus 1. We increase this by 1, which becomes x squared, which will be over 2 factorial, plus n, n minus 1, n minus 2, x cubed over 3 factorial. So it follows in that order, okay? n, n minus 1, n minus 2, n minus 3, x raised to the power 4, all over 4 factorial, plus 2 infinity, okay? So normally in this type of expansions, you could see here, this is to the power half. And to the power half, I can't tell the number of terms I have, okay? So the number of terms can run to what? Infinity. So I think there will be a breakdown, maybe expand the first four terms of the expansion, or you are asked to expand the first four terms of this binomial expansion, which is one plus two x raised to the power half. So let's take, for example, we want to expand um, square root of one plus two x. Okay, let's say expand um, 1 plus 2x, or raised to the power half, or let me say expand the square root of 1 plus 2x up to the third, let me say the fourth term. Let me use the fourth term, okay? We are going to expand this to the fourth term. Now, expanding this to the fourth term, it means this is my first term, second term, my third term, and my fourth term. So this can be written as the square root of 1 plus 2x can be written as 1 plus 2x all raised to the power what? half. So expanding 1 plus 2x all raised to the power half, we are saying that the first term is always what? 1. So I have 1 plus nx. So I have half multiplying what? 2x. Okay? So half multiplying 2x. In this case, my x is what? 2x. Okay, plus another half, then half minus 1. Then I have 2x all squared all over what? 2 factorial. So this is my first, second, and third. So I'm going for the fourth term, which will be half. Again, then half minus 1. Then half minus 2. Then I have x cubed, which will be 2x all raised to the power of 3 divided by what? 3 factorial plus to infinity, okay? So this is the first four terms. So let's simplify it. This is going to give me one plus, now two cancel two, so I'm left with x. So one plus x plus, this will be half. Then half minus one will give me minus half, okay? Then two x all squared will give me four x squared all over two times one, then plus, this will also give me half. Half minus 1 will give me minus half. Then this will also give me half minus 2. You have half subtracted from 2. Um, minus 3 over 2. That is minus 1 and a half. Then 2x all cube will give you 8x cube. All this divided by 3 times 2 times 1. Plus to infinity. Dot, dot, dot. Okay? So this will give us... 1 plus x plus, now 2 will go here 1, 2 will go here 2. And this 2 will cancel this 2, okay? So I'm left with minus half, minus half x squared. So this will give me 1 plus x minus half x squared, okay? Because 2 will go here 2, I'm left with 2 here. And then this 2 will cancel this 2. So minus half x squared. Then, in our next term, I'll have, um, I'll have plus, let's say half times this, 
which will be minus 1 over 4. Negative negative will give me poor. Okay, negative negative will give me poor. So numerator times numerator times numerator. This will give me 3 over 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. Then multiplying 8x cubed divided by 6 plus dot dot dot. My final answer, you see that 8 will cancel 8. Okay, so I have 3 over 1 divided by 6, which is 3 over 1 divided by 6, which becomes 3 over 1 times 1 over 6, which becomes 3 over 6, which becomes 1 over 2. So this will give me 1 plus x minus half x squared, then plus half x cubed. So this is my expansion of then plus dot dot dot. This is the expansion of 1 plus 2x raised to the power half. So in this case, at any point you are asked to expand, your first term should always be 1. Your first term should always be 1. Okay? If your first term is not 1, it becomes more like impossible to expand. So until your first term becomes 1, okay, that is when you are able to use this expansion. Now let's pick a question and solve. Solve the question above. Find the first four terms of the binomial expansion of 1 minus 2x or raised to the power 6 in ascending powers of x. I are using the expansion in I. Calculate correct four decimal places the value of 0 0.98 or raised to the power 6. So we have been asked to expand 1 minus 2x in ascending powers of x, the first four terms of 1 minus 2x all raised to the power 6. So we have been asked to expand 1 minus 2x raised to the power 6, the first four terms in ascending powers of what? x. So again, you know the binomial term for any non-positive integer or the binomial term for any power, which is 1 plus x raised to the power n, can be used only when this is 1, okay? When the first term is 1. And you can see that in the binomial expansion, my first term will be what? 1, okay? So writing this expansion, we shall have 1 plus nx. So we shall have 6, which is our n, and then our x is minus 2x, okay? Plus n, which our n is 6. Then we have 6 minus 1. Remember, we are writing the first four terms. So this is first, second. We are going to the third term, which will be then minus 2x. We increase this by 1, or raised to the power 2, divided by 2 times 1, which is 2 factorial. Then we are going to the fourth term, which is 6. 6 minus 1, 6 minus 2. Then we increase this by 1, minus 2x raised to the power 3, divided by 3 times 2 times 1, plus 2 infinity. Okay? So we are writing only the first four terms, and you could see first term, second term, third term, and then the fourth term. Now let's simplify it. This is going to give us 1, then 6 times negative 2 is negative 12, so this will give us minus 12x, then plus 6, then this will give us 5, minus 2 all squared will give us positive 4. So we have 4x squared all over 2, then plus this will give us 6, 5, 4. Then minus 2x all cube will give us minus 2 times minus 2 times minus 2. This will give us negative 8x cube all over 3 times 2 times 1, which is also 6, plus dot, dot, dot. When we simplify further, this is going to give us 1 minus 12x. Now 2 will go here 1, 2 will go here 3. 3, 5 is 15. And 15 times 4 will give us 60. So we have 60 x raised to the power 2. Then 6 will cancel 6. Now negative times positive will give us negative. So we have minus. Then 8, 4 is 32. 32 times 5 will give us. So we have 32 times 5. That will give us 5 to 10, 0 carry 1. So we have 160. 160 x raised to the power 3. So plus, so this is the first four terms of the expansion 1 minus 2x all raised to the power 6. 
Now we are told to use the expansion in A to evaluate 0 0.98 raised to the power 6. So we have 1 minus 2x all raised to the power 6 to be equal to 0 0.98 all raised to the power of 6. Index are the same. Let's find the value of x and put it here to get the uh, corresponding value of 0 0.98. So if the index are the same, we can say the basis are also the same. So 1 minus 2x is equal to 0 0.98, OK? So solving for 2x, solving for x, we take this one to the right. We shall have minus 2x is equal to 0 0.98 minus 1, OK? So minus 2x will be equal to 0 0.98 minus 1 will give us 0 0.98 minus 1 will give us minus 0 0.02. So we have minus 0 0.02. Solving for x, we divide here by minus 2, here by minus 2. Our x will be equal to, negative will go away, we have 0 0.01. So our x is equal to 0 0.01. Then we are going to put x equals to 0 0.01 here to get the corresponding value of 0 0.98 raised to the power 6. So our 0 0.98 raised to the power 6 will now be equal to, we put x equals to 0 0.01 into this expansion, okay, which will give us 1 minus 12 into 0 0.01 plus 60 into 0 0.01 all squared minus 160 into 0 0.01 all cube plus into infinity. This will give us, so we calculate this on our calculator, or we point this on our calculator to get the corresponding answer of 0 0.98 raised to the power 6. So we have 1 minus 12 times 0 0.01, close brackets, plus 60 times 0 0.01 all squared, close brackets, minus 160, times 0 0.01 all cube. So this is going to give us a final answer of, so you have what? 0 0.8858. 0 0.8854. Okay, so four decimal places, this becomes 0 0.8858, that is to four decimal places. So this is our answer for the expansion of 0 0.98 raised to the power 6. So with this, we've come to the end of binomial theorem. If you have any question, kindly contact us at adicianonline.net and I'm sure I'll be here and there to help you. Thank you so much.